especially for both of you guys, the last two games, especially tonight, you seem to slip into some things that you guys were doing earlier in the season, just in terms of execution. What what do you think happened? Uh, slipping into... Your feet earlier in the season. Um, yeah, um, you know, I think definitely we weren't um, as sharp as we needed to. Uh, during times there, um, uh, just just tough, you know. Definitely, it's uh, uh, you know now our backs are against the wall, and, um, and we have to see what we're made of. Um, and, and the challenge starts uh, back home on Thursday. Tim, uh, for each, for each of you guys, first for you, Al. When you guys get into those periods in this game where you had pretty long stretches where you struggled offensively, got stagnant. What caused that? <laughs> um, yeah, just uh, um, I, I feel like almost playing into their hands. Some of the things they want us to do, uh, which is, you know, take contested, uh, you know, mid-range shots and, um, and probably play a little faster than we want at times. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I feel like that's part of the reason, um, you know, why our offense hasn't been clicking like it needs to be. And Rob, it seems like as the series has gone on, and you've had more time to kind of recover. You've looked better and better. Have you felt better as this has gone on, and does it give you optimism you can continue to get better as this thing continues over the next week? Um, yeah, for sure. I've been feeling good. Um, obviously, uh, two days between uh, the games helped me a lot. But um, I've been feeling good, man. Just looking to uh, keep going. John on the right. John Corrales, Boston Sports Journal. Um, for either of you, Al, uh, in the fourth quarter there, it seemed like the officials, you, there, was, there was a lot of going back and forth, even with Ime, some of the, some of you guys. How much did that impact? How, you know, it, it seems like, to Mark's question earlier, to kind of earlier, a bad habit of when things start going with the calls, you guys start to unravel a little bit. Um, yeah, not, not our best moment. Um, as you guys know, we I feel like we've been able to fend those things off, um, especially throughout the playoffs. Uh, for whatever reason, um, uh, tonight uh, I feel like it got to us, um, and uh, and and it's one of those things that we kind of brought it back. We were able to focus back in, but we can never let that get to us. We can't let that affect our game, the way that things are being played. Um, we feel like we can control a lot of those things. Um, and it's something that, you know, we have to move on and, uh, and be better on Thursday. Gary in the middle. Gary Washington, Boston Globe. Al, uh, why the bad start? Like, it, it seemed like the biggest game of you guys' careers. I mean, one that you need, need to have. Why? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I believe that they came out really aggressive. Um, uh, you know, you got to give them credit. Uh, they, they were they were pretty good to start with, and I felt like we were okay, and we handled their run. And the thing with us was we, we weren't really you know making shots you know early on, but I felt like our defense kept us in it. And um, you know for whatever reason they, they just were the the better team to start. In the third we flipped it. We were the better the more aggressive team and, and the team that kind of got it going. Um, you know, so for us, it's understanding that, uh, the, um, you know, defensively we have to be who we are. Um, and that's the defense is what's going to give us a chance. Um, offensively, obviously, we can't turn the ball over. That was a big thing. But um, uh, just continuing to be solid on the defensive end. Are you right? Brian, Rob, Mass Live. Question for either of you guys. How much do you feel like the offensive struggles in the fourth quarter was the, the fatigue there kind of adding up, for particularly for – Jason and Jalen, and how much does that kind of impact decision making and settling at that point of the game? If you guys see, um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, um, I don't know. I mean, that's something you're going to have to ask them, um, you know, about you know the fatigue standpoint. But I, I um, uh, obviously we were a little discouraged, you know, after having such a good third. You know, to come out in the fourth and not execute like we needed to. You know, we felt like we had opportunities and um, and kind of, you know, started playing like we were playing earlier in the game. So uh, that's definitely, you know, tough. Um, and um, uh, our backs.
backs are against the wall. You know, we have to, this is the time that we, you know, we look at each other in the eyes and um, we got to figure it out. You know, we, we have an opportunity now and we got to figure it out. There's, there's no tomorrow for us. Robert? Bobby Manning, CLNS Media. Al, I'm sure you've talked a lot, watched a lot of film about these turnovers and just the ball control issues. What are you guys trying to get to? Is there certain sets you're, you know, trying? Like, what, what are you trying to get to to limit those? And what's stopping you guys from getting there? I know you two had kind of played a role during the year in ball control and running some sets and things like that. Um, yeah, you know, we just want to be solid. Um, uh, you know, we're trying to, uh, obviously, if we can get layups, we get in there, get layups. It's not we have to kick it out. Uh, you know, create movement uh, and things like that. And um, easier said than done. And we do it at times, but it's just one of those things that we need to continue to do because that's the way that the way that they defend. That's the way that they make you play. Abby Chin, NBC Sports Boston. Rob, starting with you. I mean, you guys have been in this position before. What gives you confidence going back in Boston? Um, we know we need to do. Um, we know we've been messing up on. Um, like you said, we've been here before. Uh, got the most confidence in everybody in that locker room. Um, just going back to what the OG said, just got to look each other in the eye now. You know, our backs against the wall. Was it uh, Jared? Hal, uh, when you guys are watching someone try to score an ISO against a mismatch in crunch time, uh, the point of emphasis for you guys has always been try to have some movement on the spacing around to try to make it so the defense can't just stay in their spots and know where the kickouts are coming from. What are you guys looking for when you see somebody in isolation as far as where you want to space out to? And do you feel like you guys need to be more active to create more openings? No, I just think we just need to, you know, continue to, to be available. The guys that have the ball, they have to make the reads. So it's a hard job, but like they have to identify things and, um, um, outlets are going to be what they are. Um, defense is going to be what it is, and it's just about making the making the play. Um, it's just as simple as that. So uh, sweet, you throw out a mass line for either of you guys. Just what allowed you guys to come out so strong in the third, and, and did that buzzer beater at the end of the quarter kind of maybe spill over into the fourth? Um, I, I just think it was, uh, you know, our, uh, our our we felt like. You know, we needed to step up. We know that in the third, they're a really good third quarter team. And, um, and you know, we challenged one another to come out in the third strong. And, uh, and we did that. Jalen started it for us. I thought Jalen was great with his pace, with his energy uh, in that third, kind of boosting us. Um, and then the Jordan Poole shot, I mean, that's, that's a tough shot. Shake, your, shake his hand, go down the other way. But, no, I don't think that that had carry over. Or maybe for them, but not for us. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you.